Welcome to the Concise NetHack video about starting a new tourist character in NetHack. The Concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'm going to start a brand new tourist, and I'm going to try and just play him for an hour or two and narrate what I'm doing as I go. This will give you insight into some of the choices I make when I play a tourist. Now, as you play a tourist, you're probably going to lose. Tourists start out with almost no weapons and almost no armor, and they may be the hardest character in NetHack to start. But once they get going, I think they're one of the toughest characters in NetHack, so I find that fun. So I just started. I'm running NetHack, a pre-release of NetHack 3.7. So uh, at this time, as I'm recording this, NetHack 3.6.6 is the release version, so you may see some unusual things. I just started. I'm standing on the upstairs in a brand new dungeon, and I have a... Uh, critter next to me, a, um, what do you call it? A jackal. <laughs> okay, but before I fight the jackal, I'm going to look at my inventory, because this is what I do to start. My weapons are not wielded, they're quivered at the ready. You get a stack of plus two darts. They're decent for killing monsters from a distance, which you want to do, since your only armor is a Hawaiian shirt, which is actually, at this point, a detriment. Uh, a Hawaiian shirt or a t-shirt is a must-have for me, almost must-have to ascend, because you can wear it under your armor and enchant it to plus four or plus five, which is a good thing. So I want to keep that, but I don't want to wear it now, so I'm actually going to take it off. Take off. It's off. So now looking at my inventory, I come with good food. I got seven food rations and some snacks. Uh, you always start with full, four okay, maps, scrolls of magic mapping, and two potions of extra healing. If one or both of these were blessed, I would quaff them immediately. As they are, I'll save them. A quaff or a blessed potion of extra healing bumps your maximum by five. An uncursed can only bump, bump it, I think, by two. And I always put my credit card in the K keyboard slot and my expensive camera in the M just from that's what I do adjust um, M to K adjust L to M so now I don't have to look at my inventory every time I want to use one of those guys all right um, let's deal with this jackal I'm barehanded so I'm punching and slapping this poor little jackal as he tries to nip my heels but with only 10 hit points to start you can even kill, be killed even by a jackal. I start fighting barehanded, and if anything shows up that's too tough, I throw my darts at it. Uh, the darts are likely to hit, and they do damage, so they can kill most things I encounter in the early game, but there's a 25% chance of them breaking every time they use them. A grid bug, um, even a grid bug, is bad for a weak character like me, so I attack diagonally. Move diagonal, move diagonal, scared him away. Um, he can only attack you going north, south, east, or west. So if you can attack him diagonally, then he can't hurt you. Slap that jackal. Killed him to death. Uh, Kobold, uh, he's doing damage. I was able to kill him. He left me seven darts. I'm going to pick those up and adjust them to the D slot. I think I got him in the D slot. Um, Okay, I'll just show you. I use that for helping to identify potions. I did notice that I have an egg in my inventory. I'm going to eat that now. It'll go rotten if it stays in my inventory for very long. All right, the goblin almost took me down. Ah, oh, ha, ha, I should have paid attention. <clears throat> he, okay, a crude dagger is not a great dagger, but I like to uh, train up in dagger when I'm a tourist, because two weaponing with a couple of daggers, you can be a decent threat to most monsters. He wielded the dagger, so um, and it didn't weld itself to his hand, so I know it's not cursed. He did some damage to me and hit me, but he did me a favor because he left me a dagger that I know is not cursed. Okay. I'm going to eat his corpse because why not? And he also left me a skull cap. It could be cursed. I'm not going to try it on. And you see this. Lichen here, it's not a lichen, it's a statue of a lichen. I can tell because I moved on it and I didn't, didn't uh, attack it. I'm going to close that door and kick it down. It exercises my strength, and if I have to run away from a monster, going through a doorway uh, at, if there's a door there, can take an extra turn. Since I'm only at half hit points now, I'm going to fire my darts at the 
rat F up and killed him. So I'm kind of hurt now, but I'm still exploring. Okay, I've explored half this dungeon level. I usually move one way to explore one half completely before I move to the other side because if I don't, then I may end up exploring a little bit of one and going back and forth between a little bit of the other. Killed him. Oh, okay. I already determined that that uh, dagger was not cursed, so I should wield it. Uh, that is K, just K to A. Um, and, okay, all right, so now I'm wielding a dagger. If I do Alt-E, I can see that I was unskilled at barehanded combat. When you're unskilled, that means that you don't hit as often, you're more likely to miss, and you'll do less damage. Uh, I'm also unskilled at dagger. I just have to be careful. I could be so confident walking around trying to hit things with my dagger that I don't know I'm missing them and, or hitting them for a little damage, and they'll kill me. So, caution. I'm on dungeon level what. One, this can't be a shop door. You don't want to kill, kick a door that's a shop door because the shop team first round on that and they will kill you. I've got two monsters here. I'm going to fire a dart. I killed him. Um, the goblin, uh, I killed him with my dagger. I want to hit often with that dagger. Pick up the other dagger he left. I'll pick up the skull cap, but I'm not going to wear it until I know it's not cursed. Look at this. A couple of potions. There's a golden potion. All right, I showed you earlier that I picked up a stack of darts and moved them to the D slot. If you have darts or arrows or crossbow bolts, um, if you dip them into a potion, you can sometimes identify if the potion is bad. If you dip it into a potion and it gives you a message, like if they, the darts corrode, then you know it's acid, or if the darts get a coating, then it's sickness, or if they turn into something else, then you know it's polymorph. And those are the three potions you don't want to quaff unsuspectingly. I have a potion here. Potion. Um, the, the, the clear potion is water. Uh, I've already identified my extra potions because I started with them. I don't know what the golden potion is. I'm going to I'll dip D, which is my darts, dip it into, dip them into S, the golden potion. I got the interesting message, so I know that it's not one of those bad three potions. It may be another bad potion, like paralysis, but let's go ahead and quaff S, and it's invisibility. All right, if that was a cursed potion of invisibility or an uncursed potion, eventually I will become un invisible again. I don't like to be visible, and I'm not, so it wasn't blessed. Blessed potions give you permanent invisibility, which I typically don't like. I think I've explored this level enough. Uh, let's go downstairs. Dangerous to go downstairs because as you increase dungeon levels, and as you increase experience levels, the monsters get meaner. You run into more powerful monsters, like hobbits. Huh, he wielded a rune dagger, which he could kill me with. Now, I ran away from him some. I move a little bit faster than he did, and I got one extra move here. I'm going to throw, I'm going to fire a dart at him. I don't want him hitting me with that rune dagger. I'm going to eat him. Kill the jackal. I should have done this differently. Okay. I'm going to pick up his rune dagger. I'm going to adjust, adjust T to A, and I'm going to wield his rune dagger. The rune dagger is the best kind of dagger in the game, except for silver dagger and magic vein, in my opinion. All right. Finish eating him and pick up my dart. Now I'm hurt. I'm half health. I'm going to go here. I'm going to throw my... Now I'm going to throw my darts. Fire at the cobalt zombie. I could have thrown my daggers at him, but where I was hurt, I might have to run away upstairs and leave him down here. Leave the darts down here. All right, now that I'm healthy again, let's do some more exploring. Using my ruined dagger now, which I am still unskilled at. Dagger, ruined dagger, crude dagger, magic banes, athames, they all exercise the dagger slot. So the, all those hits I got with my crude dagger are going to help me exercise in dagger skill. All right, that's a food ration. I'm going to pick it up. What do we have here? A pair of jack boots. Okay, I don't, if you just pick up random armor and wear it, there's a, a chance it'll be cursed. So it's bad, but it's also very bad to run around the dungeon bare naked. So I'm going to wear these jack boots. B, adjust B to S, and check. 
I was lucky. They're plus zero. They're probably not cursed. My armor class went from 10 down to 8 because the lower the number is, the better. Okay, I'll take off my shoes. I'm 10. I'm going to wear my shoes. And I'm down to 8. Uh, jack boots give as much protection as iron shoes, but they don't hinder spell casting. I don't know any spells right now, so I can't cast any spells, but um, later on when I have spells, it's better to wear high boots than it is to wear iron shoes. I'm going to fire darts at this green mold, brown mold, okay, and then eat it. Probably should have thrown my crude daggers at him. I'll do that next time. I just hit the zombie. I'm going to hit the hobbit. Killed him and he left a sling with rocks. 22 search. Okay. I've, I feel strong. I've been exercising diligently. In NetHack 3.7, when your attributes change, they turn green. So this changed from 11 to 12, and I feel tough. That's constitution. My constitution went from 15 to 16. That's excellent. 22 search. That's what I get for exercising. Whoops. Kick the door down. I use Control D to kick and then Control A to repeat the last command. This is playing on Windows, Macs, may use different keystrokes, I don't know. Got some money, kick the door down. I'm on dungeon level two, and there could be shops on the, a shop on this level, so I have to be careful. But kick the door down. Pushing a boulder exercises strength, and if I really wanted to, I could push that boulder back and forth all day and exercise my strength. Okay. Newts are awesome. I'm going to eat him. My power is 16, and when you eat a newt corpse, there's a chance it'll bump your max power. It didn't. It didn't give me a buzz. It didn't boost, but there was a chance it could. Okay, pick up the scroll labeled fish. Ooh, a big general store. The only thing better than a big general store is a big armor shop. Uh, lots of goodies in here. Sort of start with a lot of money. I've got $1,000 now, and I'm only on dungeon level 2. I didn't see what I started with, but I could buy most anything. But let's walk around in this shop and see what we have. Splint mail, too heavy. That is great armor, but too heavy. A hey, chain mail. I love chain mail. It's not as heavy, not as much of an AC boost as splint mail, but uh, much lighter. I probably will come back and buy that, unless I find something even better. An apron, that's an alchemy smock. It's a magic thing. It's great for alchemy and uh, polypiling. Sling, don't care. I don't care about scrolls and potions at this point. I'm not going to buy them. A relatively cheap spell book, I might buy that. I'm going to pick it up. A whistle. Shopkeeper doesn't mind if I blow the whistle in the shop. Pick it up. Apply Z. A high whistling sound. It's not a magic whistle or it would have been a strange whistling sound. I'm going to name object... Uh, what was it? Z? Yeah, Z. Not magic. And DZ. So I dropped it, so he's not going to charge me for it. But next time I find one, I'll know it's not magic. I don't play with pets, so I don't care about leashes. Scroll, food ration, got lots of food, potion, don't care. A jeweled wand costs 233 Zork mitts. I wish it had cost 500 or 600, because that would have meant it was a uh, wand of wishing or a wand of death. I might buy it anyway. Walking shoes, I already got good boots. Curved sword, key. I've got a credit card that will pick locks. I'm not going to buy the key yet. Arrows, blue gem. I've already got an expensive camera since I'm a tourist. Also on 200, I'll pick it up. I'm going to drop all these things. Drop unpaid here, including the chain mail. Drop them by the doorway. Drop unpaid. Um, zinc wand. 133, food ration, looking glass. I want a looking glass. Do I want to buy it? I'm not sure. If you get in trouble, you can show a monster his reflection in the looking glass, and he might scare, get scared and run away. Crude chain mail, magic mavic, black gem, chain mail. That one's also $100. If they were different prices, I'd know that one of them might be blessed. A blindfold, awesome. I need telepathy, and then that's one of the most valuable things I can get. A longsword. I'm tempted to get that longsword, but I've got a rune dagger, and I want to train up daggers. I don't want to train up longsword, probably. Speaking of weapons, ooh, buy the tin. Speaking of weapons, um, my best weapon is if I can get an early wish, I wish for, magic, or for uh, 
gray swan deer. It's a lawful weapon, and I'm neutral, but it does the most damage, and I love two weaponing with gray swan deer and a regular silver saber. <clears throat> saber. Okay, I'm going to drop everything except for that blindfold, the looking glass, and the tin. And I'm going to adjust my blindfold to E, adjust F to E, the E slot having to do with eyes. And I want to adjust the uh, looking glass, E to G. And I'm going to pay for that stuff. Drop the tin. Okay, I'm going to buy the chain mail. Adjust C to... A. And I am burdened. Let's see what I'm carrying that I don't need. I've got two skull caps. Don't need those. Got a tin and I got tons of food. You don't want to be burdened. I've got some potions um, and I got some scrolls. Okay. I am weak. Strength 12 is not a lot. But wear A. My chain, wearing the chain mail is going to take my armor class from 8 to 3. So that was a regular old chain mail. I, there are some wands there, and I still have $900, but I don't want to be burdened. Um, I'm going to buy all of the wands and not. I'm going to buy the spell book. Now, I'm going to hurry upstairs and hope I don't run into tough monsters. Fire, fire. And I'm going to hit the Shrieker. Shrieker Shriek, and they wake up monsters. Hang on. Drop. I'm going to drop both of these. And I'm still burdened. Wow. Um, what else do I not need to carry? I'm going to drop six of my dots in my D slot. Uh, 6D. And I'm going to drop my Tripe Ration. Okay, unencumbered. Shriekers are great because if they leave you a corpse and you eat it, you may get poison resistance. Uh, didn't that time. Okay. Uh, you want to take a risk? I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to read a spell book, not knowing if it's cursed or not, and it may lose me the game, but I read one early spell book so I can get an early spell. But first... Um, I feel more confident in my weapon skills. I've hit enough with my dagger that I could now advance dagger. I hit Alt-E, and I'm going to hit A to advance dagger from unskilled to skilled. So I've hit all, or to basic, I mean, and now, I'm, now I won't miss as often. Okay, I'm living on the edge. I'm going to read a spell book. D my dollars, drop dollars because they might, I might lose them if I read wrong. And I'm going to read Y. It, it uh, just teleported me. Read why. It took me two tries. I didn't die, and I got Create Monster. Going back downstairs. I'm going to leave some of this stuff I don't need. This is not a great place for a stash, but I'm going to drop everything I want that I don't want to carry, which means my Hawaiian shirt, my scrolls, my spell book, and my potion of water drop all those things. All right. Next, I'm experienced level three. I'm not ready for the um, Gnomish Mines yet, but one of these two, I have two downstairs on this level. One of them is the Gnomish Mines level. Let's try these stairs. That's a normal dungeon level, so that means the other stairs will be the Gnomish Mines. And I'm going to go ahead and go down and come back up, and they turn yellow in uh, in 3.7. Heck, and now I'm going to go down. Let's explore this level. Eat the newt corpse it might give me a buzz and pump by power. Don't kick the door because it might be a shop. Pick up the brilliant blue potion. I'll dip D into it was I right. Interesting. So I can quaff it. It's a little dangerous quaffing on this level. Um, so before I quaff it, I'm going to head back upstairs and Q I because I've already cleared this level, and I know there's not a monster, probably not, you know, in a room right next to me. I got a potion of speed, uh, which is great. Let's use it. Okay, I'll finish this, this side. Pick up the scroll. There's magic mapping. I'm still moving fast now with that potion of speed, which is great, because I got a kitten. 22 search. 
I want kittens are fast, and I want to be, you know, with the potion of speed, I can go fast too, and I'm more of a match for the kitten, which is why I killed it with my dagger instead of my darts. Open, don't kick it because it might be a shot. It's not. And I finally slow down. So I was in explore mode while I was going fast so that I could cover a lot of ground and hopefully fight monsters while I was fast. Nothing there. We'll kick this door because we know it's not a shop. 22 search, 22 search. So I, if you go 22 search, you find a hidden place about, if it's there, about 80% of the time. That took me two of them. I thought there was a pretty good chance there was one there. All right, a green mold. I'm going to throw darts at him. They could have corroded, it could have corroded that dart, it didn't. I'll pick up the invisibility potion, I'm not going to use it, but you'll remember I quaffed one earlier. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go down to dungeon level 5, and then I'm going to go to the Gnomish Mines. I like to have cleared dungeon level 5 and experience level 5 before I do the Gnomish Mines. I'm going to control O. So, um... This is the first altar I have found. Um, this item right here below me is an altar. Altars are awesome. Uh, I might spend several thousand turns hanging out at an altar, killing monsters, sacrificing them, praying, them, praying. But the problem I have is there's a paper golem here, and I'm weak with weak, well, not too weak armor, but I don't have great armor. Um, I am going to see if I can kill him, and if not, I'm going to run away. And, oh, maybe it's not a golem. Maybe it's a statue of a golem. <laughs> okay, I was scared of a statue. Very realistic looking, don't you think? All right, I'm going to explore this level. First with the altar, what can I drop? Um, my rune dagger and my crude daggers, I already know they're not cursed, but drop them anyway. Ooh, it's blessed. That's even better. Okay, I'm going to drop my tin because I don't like to eat cursed tins. Um, drop my tools. You don't want to wear a cursed blindfold because it will uh, won't come off. And that looks good. Okay, I'm feeling better with a blessed weapon and armor class of three. There's a fuzzy pickle. Why not eat it? Let's go get. Excuse me. Get that wand. What's this? A crude dagger. Why not? I've got a stack of them already. Okay. Here we have a wear rat. I have magic cancellation one, I believe, with my chainmail. The trouble with wear rats is they can summon, but or is it a, a wear jackal? I don't know. It's a wear something. They can summon a whole herd of critters around you, and if they're in their monster form, their bite can give you lycanthropy and make you turn into one of them, which is bad. But um, I have body armor, so that decreases. His uh, magic cancellation one decreases his ability to hit me a little bit. I'm going to fire darts at him. He summoned, but he only summoned one. Control A. He turned into a rat. Okay, I'm going to run while he's a rat until he changes into a human, which he did. I don't want to stand there and fight him while he's a rat. Okay, I was able to kill him fairly easily. I don't want to sacrifice his corpse, but I do want to pick up the pickle and the carrot. Pickles are just normal food. Carrots, if you're blind and you don't want to be blind, you can um, wear. No, eat the carrot. You don't wear the carrot. You eat the carrot and it'll cure your blindness. Piece of cloth. This is a magic robe. I don't know what kind of magic robe it is. Robe. Let's go back to my altar where it looks like I left something sitting there. Oh, to get to the altar, I typed underscore, underscore, and it takes you to the altar and a dot. All right, here, I left my tools here. Let's drop that magic robe. Uh, it's a piece of cloth in this game. It's it's cursed. Darn. I was hoping it was magic resistance. It still may be, but I don't dare try on a cursed robe. Let's see, what's the downside? I'm already wearing body armor. It might be invisibility. Um, and that would mean that I couldn't get into shops. So I'm not going to wear it. I'll see. Oh, wait. Didn't I have a scroll of identify? Type the backslash key. Oh, I don't know about scrolls yet. Okay. Open the door because it might be... The shop, eat the newt, nothing happened, pick up the tins, love tins, because they might be spinach. Also, you can get intrinsics. Any intrinsics you get from eating monsters, you might get from their tins. I'm going to hit Control-P to repeat my last commands. 
um, control P, footsteps of a guard. That means somewhere on this level there's a 4x4 four four room full of gold. And there might be a magic portal to get into it, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time looking for it now, since I don't want to go there until I have a pickaxe and can dig my way out. Okay, I'm carrying too much food. I'm burdened. And I, oh, look, I'm hungry. How about if I eat some of my food? B, eat B, and I'm no longer burdened. But I'm going to go drop some stuff. Drop some of my food. I'm going to drop... 5C, five of my food rations. I'll eat some of my snacks. I could drop them all, but I'm not going to. Twenty two search. Control D. Shop doors are not hidden. Fire and kill the were rat with the with the dart. If I pick up this Newt corpse, gecko corpse. I probably can't make it all the way back to my altar before it gets too old. Offer W, nothing happens. It was too old, DW. I wonder if there's a hidden passageway I could have taken. That would have saved some time. Anyway, I need a pickaxe so I can dig a more direct path. I dig a lot with pickaxes. Maybe every level, if I don't have direct passageways. Um, let's eat some of my snacks. Oh, let's eat my tin. Smells like jackals. Sure, we'll eat it. Oh, fingers very slippery. Dagger slips from my hand. 55 dot. And wield A. You have to wait a few turns, then you can wield your weapon again. Uh, two tins, T. I haven't checked to see if they are cursed yet, but... Let's eat them. Hill orcs, sure. Such one here of orc. It wasn't, the door was hidden, so it's not a shop. Let's throw my daggers. I have T that way. I got a giant ant. Don't like them because they're so fast. Uh, so he's a bit of a threat to me now. I think I'm still probably better with my darts than with my basic experience rune dagger, even though it's blessed. So I'm going to fire darts. And I killed him. Ants can come in groups, but I don't see any more. 22 search, control D. And I'm going to Cobalt Shaman. So he's going to cast spells at me. I'm going to run back home, pick up the iguana. Now am I close enough to get there before he gets old? Now, even though I'm weak, I need to eat. Offer. Nothing happens. DX. All right. Eat the snack. F. Eat F. 55 dot. Okay. It's easier just to kill them on the altar. Offer. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I might stick with Magic Bane through the rest of the game. Um, if I get an early wish before two, this is an artifact weapon. If two such artifact weapons appear, then I'll no longer wish for another artifact. But if I can get an early wish before I get granted the next artifact or find another artifact, I will wish for Grace One Deer. But Magic Bane is great. It's great because it gives me magic resistance, which is what I was hoping to get from a robe. Thanks, lady. I'll adjust Z to A, wield A. Magic Bane is an artifact, so it does more damage and... Hey, he picked up my food rations, which is the danger of leaving a stash of stuff on the floor without, uh, you know, not putting it, not protecting it. Okay, hobbits are very heavy. I rebalance my load. I am stressed and hungry. Offer, what I want to sacrifice, F. Hopeful feeling, which means my prayer timeout hasn't expired. I can't pray again. And, um... Uh, yeah, I'm no longer stressed. All right, let's eat some food. Eat some more snacks. Uh, fortune cookie, shift E. Some fortune cookies have true rumors, some have false. Shopkeepers can spot a tourist a mile away in those Hawaiian shirts, which is why I took my Hawaiian shirt off, so he won't charge me more. Eat some more snacks. Let's eat the uh, fuzzy pickle and eat that tin of orc meat. Uh, unless somebody shows up, then I'll stop. Eat. Oh. 
Okay, am I scared of the shaman? Probably not. Throw, throw its uh, T that way, and he's going to run away. Pick him up, pick up my dagger that I threw, and offer him. Um, I don't eat cobalt until you have poison resistance, which I don't have yet. All right, I had a hopeful feeling, right? Yeah, control P, showed me previous commands. So my prayer timeout has not expired yet. I'm going to drop my dagger that I found and my crude dagger, pick them both up. And my crude dagger, if I show my weapons, sh uh, shift I, left parenthesis, no, right parenthesis for weapons, it stacked what used to be just called a crude dagger in a different slot. It stacked it with my other crude daggers. Um, I'm going to actually... Um, adjust T to Q and shift Q, Q. So now I have quivered my daggers. Now when I fire, I'm going to be throwing crude daggers instead of my darts. I can still throw my darts with the T command, but if I use the F command, then it uh, will throw my daggers. I have explored most of this level. I would like to go into the Gnomish Mines now. Um, there, let's uh, D, A, K. And I, my status as the game goes on. I got a, I got a good weapon. I can't claim claim about my weapon. I've got chainmail, not bad. I don't. My shoes are okay. I'd love to get a, a, a dwarvish iron helm, and I'd love some gloves, and I'd love a good robe. Don't have them yet. Um, I'm going to leave some things here, especially since I'm going upstairs and. I mean, if the upstairs were clear over here, then while I was going back and forth to the upstairs, the monster could come grab my potions and scrolls and use them. But I'm going to come up here and drop all. I'm going to drop my scrolls and my potion of invisibility. Going into the gnomish mines with potions in your main inventory is dangerous because the, there might be fire traps, but I don't want to leave them here yet. And I will drop, that's it. Ooh, okay. I have that hexagonal wand I haven't identified yet. I need to remember that. Um, okay, yeah, it was dungeon level two that had the uh, stairs to the Gnomish Mines, right? Wheel day. Okay, Gnomish Mines. And when you go into the Gnomish Mines, just stay on the upstairs for a few minutes. Let monsters come to you. Somebody's got a crossbow. That uh, dwarf is hitting me for lots of damage. Let's see if I can kill him. Okay, he took me way down. So, what do I do? I run upstairs, go to the next upstairs, and I'm going to just wait here for a while. If something shows up I'm scared of, I will just head upstairs to a level I've already uh, explored, and I know there's probably nothing nasty there. Fire that way, which shows my crude daggers. Probably not doing as much damage as my darts would, but they exercise the dagger slot, which I now want to get to expert as quickly as I can. Eat my tin. Yeah, yes, eat it. And what else can I eat? I'll eat my, my uh, oh, I forgot to drop some of my food. All right, 55 dot. I don't want to drop it here because this isn't a stash level. Eat my lichen corpse. You see, I'm being real careful with my food. Probably more careful than I need to be. In fact, drop food. Let's leave... Um, I don't hope you're brave. I'm going to leave all seven food rations here. I still have two food rations. And I'm going into Gnomish Mines, where you can eat a lot of stuff. Unless he hits you for the, so many hit points right off the bat. But that's okay. He'll be patient. He'll wait there for me. And one of these times, so uh, dwarves move slower than I do. One of these times, I'll get a hit on him before he hits me. Okay, Gnomish Mines, here we go. Downstairs, he hit me. Hit him. I'm going to hit him one more time. And I killed him. But I'm hurting. Did he leave me a hard hat? He did. He also left me a broad pick. I'm going to pick up both of those. They didn't burden me. Broad picks are heavy. I don't want to stay there on that level because my I'm damaged. So 55 dot, 55 dot, kill, eat the newt. I still didn't get a buzz. I really want to boost my power. Get this, 
and I'm going to take those hard shoes he left me and drop them on the altar. He brought me a balsa wand, which reminds me I need to identify my wands. Going down to my altar, which was level four, I got a straw golem and drop X. We're going to drop that broad pick. It uh, Pickaxes are much lighter weight than broad picks, but I'm going to adjust L to P, put my pickaxe in the P slot, and until I find a pickaxe, I'll carry this broad pick. I'm going to drop my hard hat. It's not cursed, just N to H, where H. Anything else I want to drop? I want to leave my scrolls here. And 55 dot, nobody shows up. I'm going to use my broad pick on that statue. <laughs> Apply P that way. It was just a statue, wheel day. Um, and while I'm applying P, apply P, oh, wheel day, pony, they're fast, they hit me a lot, he's, but he's fleeing since Magic Bane scared him. I'm going to throw darts, not fire my crude daggers, I'm going to throw O that way, and I killed him, can't eat him. And the other thing I saw was a fog cloud, great for um, uh, exercising your weapon. Your, uh, yeah, your weapon slots. Okay, I would normally dig through the walls there, but I'm going to head upstairs to where things are more interesting. And I am going to dig through walls here because I'm going back and forth a lot. Okay, the Roths scare me because that one took me down low. Throw was O. Oh, that way. Okay, wolves are good to eat. Whoops, don't eat when there's a monster around. Um, I'm going back down to dungeon level four. Things are scary up there. Let's heal up and then go back and deal with the wolves. I'm throwing darts at the were critter and kill him. 55 dot, 55 dot, 55 dot upstairs. Um, fire my crude daggers and then hit him with my magic bane. Pick up my daggers and then go back and eat the stuff. Eat. I'm going to eat the second one and eat the last one. I'm not going to eat the partially eaten one because I was doing 55 dot downstairs and it's probably rotten. Uh, fire, fire, fire. Fifty-five dot and. Okay, my armor, I've got hard hat, jack boots, and chain mail. I don't have a rope, don't have gloves. I'm at armor class one. Monsters are still doing a lot of damage to me. I need more hit points than 40 max hit points. But, oh, as I was digging that path, I saw some uh, gold in the wall. I'm going to kick it out of the wall. Uh, it didn't come out, but it hurt me. 55 dot burdened me. Uh, my legs feel better, so now I can kick again. And they came out that time. Okay, I want to eat that gray ooze corpse. Fire. And I'm now experienced level 6. So I just increased to 6. And now my max hit points is 44. But still is not much. I eat gray ooze globs because they might give me resistances like magic resistance. Okay, back downstairs. What do we got? Crossbow bolts, hard shoes, don't need those things. Dagger, I like daggers. I want to get a stack of daggers. Eat the dwarf, made me blind. When you eat food and get you blind or confused, it's really short term, like five turns. But I don't yet have telepathy, so when I'm blind, I can't see anything. But somebody's hitting me there, an invisible monitor, I can't see him. All right, I'm going to eat some more. Oh, I already did. Okay, what else is here? Two red gems and a spell book. Awesome. I'm going to pick up the spell book and the red gems. And I'm burdened. So I'm going to run back. You see, I do this a lot. And I maybe apologize for it. But um, I go up and down the stairs a lot. If you just go downstairs, you're going to be overwhelmed soon. Now, I'm burdened. And it's dangerous to move around while burdened. But I know that if I drop my spell book, then I will be unburdened. So I'm not too scared of it. 
if I if a bad monster shows up, I drop that spellbook and fight him. And let's drop the dagger and the spellbook. The dagger is cursed. I'm glad I know that without wielding it, and so is the spellbook. So I'm going to pick up the spell. But don't read a cursed spellbook. D T. Kick the dagger. Um, Okay, I'm going to do something else here that I think you'll thank me for. And that is... Uh-oh. Okay, I woke up a nymph. She stole my helmet and my camera, and she runs away, which is really bad news. Oh, well, I don't have telepathy anyway. She's going to keep tormenting me. So, I could try and chase her down. I'm not going to... I don't want to play her game. I'll offer the gecko corpse... I got, there's no hopeful feeling, which means my prayer timeout has expired. I'm going to pray. Um, uh, my, so the lady blessed my weapon, so now it's a blessed magic thing. Great. Um, here's how I'm going to deal with the nymph. She's going to run away from me for a while, and then she's going to get her courage back, and she's going to come back and get me. So if I tried to chase her down, she knows where I am. I don't know where she is. Um, that could go very badly. What do I have to throw at her? I've got all my darts. If I just sit here on this altar or near this altar, eventually she's going to get tired of running away and she's going to come back toward me. I think, though, do I need to dig any more paths? I won't dig any more paths. 555 five, five, dot. Let's just see. I got lots of food. Well, I got some upstairs anyway. DL, let's drop my 10. EL, geckos eat it, sure. And no, I don't have a lot of food, but I got some upstairs. I could get some. 555 five, dot. Hungry. Eat a food ration. Okay, I didn't get a nymph, but I got a leprechaun. And how many darts do I have left? I started with like 28. I'm down to 17. That'll be enough. Let's throw O that way. Two, three, four. Okay, I thought I could kill him. I haven't killed him yet. What I'm going to do now is instead of hitting him, I'm going to throw dollars up away. And when I don't have dollars, he's not interested in hitting me. He's going to leave. And I had a rock mole. I'm going to go pick up my dollars, and he's going to come back. Okay, there's that nymph I told you about. I don't think I can throw that far, but let's try it. Throw O that way. Nope, I can throw that far. Throw O that way. She's probably going to go upstairs. It's all right. I got to kill her to get my helmet back. But she's, oh, since she went upstairs, that means she's afraid of me, right? Throw O that way, and I killed her. So now I get my helmet back. A, where, H, and I get my expensive camera back. And I'm also going to pick up the nymph, because even though she's super heavy, I'm not far from my altar, and I can offer her right there. And I got a four-leaf clover, which means my luck just got boosted. It won't stay boosted, but it got boosted. And my prayer timeout has expired, so I'm going to say Alt P to pray yes. Okay, no benefits. Uh, but let's go on up, pick up some food, kill the dog. Um, okay, here's how to kill a floating eye if you want to hit it with a melee weapon. I've got, if I had a towel, which I don't, or a blindfold, which I don't, I'd wrap it. No, I do. I have a blindfold. Either way, though, I'm going to apply my expensive camera, which is M, at myself, dot. I'm blind. Now, since I'm blind, the floating eye's gaze attack can't hurt me. So I'm going to go ahead and kill it, and... Look at that. She left me not only a magic helmet, I think, but a floating eye corpse. And I'm going to eat that floating eye corpse, um, and I will gain telepathy. And when you're, when you're telepathic and you're blind, you can see all monsters on the level with brains. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Um, I get... Oh, I stop eating. <laughs> okay. It would have been interesting, though, if I'd been... Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put on... I'm going to apply M dot, blind myself again, eat... Finishing the floating eye corpse more, you feel a strange mental acuity, and even though I'm blind, I can tell that there's a dwarf there. That's the benefit of telepathy. You have to have telepathy. Okay. 
Um, there's a dwarvish missile quilt. That is even better than my chain mail. So I'm going to eat the dwarf. Eat the dwarf. Pick up the dagger. Pick up the mithril coat. Head down to my altar. I said it's better because it's lighter and it gives more protection. My AC is currently at 1. If I take off armor and de-armor, de de-armor, it's hard for me to talk and type at the same time. Pick up this uncursed thing, adjust Z to A, where A, my AC is now 0. I've got a better armor class with much less weight. That's good, right? Yes. She's asleep. I use the, the semicolon command to see that she's asleep, but I do not want to leave a sleeping nymph close by because she'll attack me at the worst possible time. Throw O that way. It screams. <laughs> what did I get? <laughs> Killed the mountain nymph. Nymphs don't scream. Do they? I guess they do. I woke her up. I don't know. Okay. Um, going up because we want to do gnomish mines. All right, they're going to hang back and hit me with crossbow bolts. Uh, pick up the violet gem. Eat that, eat that, eat that, kill, attack, eat that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that gray stone could be a luck stone, it could be a flint stone, it could be a lodestone or a touchstone. Um, you don't just go picking up gray stones until you've done a little bit of testing. I'm going to pick up all these weapons so I can drop them here. And I'm going to, okay, a gray stone is on top. I'm going to control D, kick that guy. He moved so he's not a lodestone. I'm not wearing gauntlets of power, so I'm not strong enough to, to kick a lodestone. So I'm going to pick up the gray stone. Got to be a little careful here. Anything good? A scroll, D, and he left me a pickaxe. So I'm going to drop that. I dropped the um, broad pick that I've been carrying. I'm going to pick up the pickaxe, adjust I to P, put it in the P slot, pick up this stone, name object J, stone one. I don't know if it's good yet, but I'm going to pick it up till I know. And Healing. Don't want to eat him. Oh, he picked up my broad pick because I was satiated a minute ago. You don't want to be satiated very often. I want to eat cave, cave spider corpses because they might give poison resistance. They don't do it often, but it can happen. Oh, downstairs. When I'm on Gnomish Mines, if I find the downstairs, I go down immediately, go right back up. That way, if I fall through a pit trap or a trap door down to that lower level, I've already discovered where the stairs are and I can move myself right to them. Throw O that way. So I don't do that on all levels, but on Gnomish Mine levels, there are lots of pit traps and I don't like falling down and not knowing how to get back up the stairs. I want to get a lot of daggers. I don't like crude daggers, but they're better than nothing. I want to get a stack of daggers there's a key, so I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to drop my um, credit card DK DK. So I drop my credit card and I go pick up the key, adjust O to K, and now a key credit card is better than a lockpick or lockpick or a Sorry, a key is better than a credit card or lockpick. Um, there's a fortune cookie with a sleeping gas cloud. Uh, in the same level, I'll eat the fortune cookie. Liquor sellers do not drink. They hate to see you twice. So that would be a false rumor. Not helpful. Now I have to step on that sleeping gas trap, right? No, I have a pickaxe. Apply P. You can't untrap a sleeping gas trap, but you can dig the wall around it. Pick up the potion. I've explored this level. Let's go down and see what happens. Lots of sleeping gas and falling rock traps. 
I'm going to kick these rocks off and kick the stuff off so that I can see the trap and don't step on it again. <laughs> okay, 55 dot, 55 dot, 55 dot, 55 dot. And I may just stay here, 55 dotting for a long time. Okay, he's going to hit me from a distance. So he makes me go get him. But I stayed there and killed several monsters before before I left the upstairs. Okay, he's at hit points too, which is good because I'm at hit point 17. Magic Bane has stunned him. He's got a blue gem, and I killed him. Okay, get the gem. And is there more around here? <coughs> I apologize. I'm recovering from COVID. All right, do I have a light source? I have no light source. I have to fumble in the dark, and that takes some time. But we got lots of time, right? Okay, floating eye. Um, I could I'll throw daggers at him. Or I could wear my blindfold and kill him in melee. Probably what I should have done would have been faster. Magic trap or a anti-magic field trap. Different than a magic trap. Now you can use, what is it, control X to explore. I don't do that. Great. There's the Gnomish Mines level. Let me finish with this level. Except I forgot to pick up my food. So I got to go get some food. Five arrows. Oh, the zombie followed me up the stairs. Most monsters aren't smart enough to do that. Eat the food. Pick it up. And before I go down, I'm going to drop some stuff here. Potion scrolls. All but H, just because I don't want to risk losing them. That was a lockpick. Okay, I'm blind. Let's go back upstairs. Lots of monsters over here, so I'll be, have to be ready for them. They probably have to move around this way before they can get to me, and they're not smart enough to do that. So, But a rock mole could eat a passage through the walls, and they'd all hit me all at once. Uh, five, 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 dot. I don't have a unicorn horn, so the only way to get a, to where I can see again is wait. And I think I'm going to explore the right-hand side of the dungeon before I food ration, lots of food, before I go hit those monsters. I can't fit through, but I have a pickaxe. And be sure to wield your regular weapon again. Fire. And pick up the scroll. Okay, go to the upstairs and okay. Okay, I gotta be on my guard because I think you're going to see a bunch of monsters here. 55 dot. and yeah, they can pro probably all get at me. I'm experienced level 7. Great. Except now the monsters that appear will be even tougher. Okay, they're going to throw arrows at me. Okay, I could kill that light. I'm just going to put on my blindfold and let him explode, if he will. He, I didn't see the explode message. Did you? Okay, as soon as I take off my blindfold now, he's probably going to explode. Okay, let's see what they left me. An elven mithril coat, which is almost as good as a dwarvish mithril coat. Hiking boots. Those are magic boots. Those could be speed boots, which would be awesome. Some gems. And arrows. Can you believe I have not seen a large box or a crate in this whole game for my stash? Maybe there's one on this level. That, all right, I see 
that is boulder may have a a uh, rolling boulder trap associated with it. Spellbook of Create Monster, because I've already read that. I can cast Create Monster as a tourist, but I have to take off all my iron armor and mithril armor in order to cast it. So I'm going to be very careful walking around in direct line with that uh, boulder, because I may set off a rolling boulder trap since I can't. Well, I can push him out of the way. Let's do this. Yeah, I didn't trigger it. I was trying to dig through the wall here so I could push the boulder over, and the critter stepped on it. Wield a the gecko. Wait, was that true or did I? What was the message? The message was, you see a rolling boulder start to roll. Somebody stepped on that boulder trap. Well, now I can push it out of the way. Yeah, there's the trap, so somebody stepped on it. All right, this dungeon has gone quite a or this dungeon, this uh, video has gone a long time and you're getting tired of watching. In fact, you're probably not even still watching, are you? Um, there's the yellow light, put my... Um, okay, there the yellow light exploded, remove. Um, what I'm going to do, rather than bore you too much, is I'm going to head downstairs I'm going to explore Mine Town and um, then I'm going to call it quits. But I've got a peaceful house cat here. You leave peaceful critters alone, right? No, you don't always. You take an alignment record penalty for hitting them, but you gain that back as you hit um, other uh, hostile monsters. The trouble with peaceful monsters is they get can get in your way and when you're trying to run away they can block your path. I'm going to use a shift F to fight. What direction? Up. It hissed, meaning it was peaceful before, and now it's going to hit me. And it's fast, it does a lot of damage, but I was able to kill it. Now I just don't want to pray right now or, or uh, uh, because I have an alignment penalty, but if I kill a few regular hostile monsters I'll get all that back. So I do kill some monsters. I'm going to kick this door. It's dangerous to do in Mine Town. I know it's Mine Town because I'm in the Gnomish Mines and I have a square room. You don't want to let a, a uh, guard see you kicking a door, but nobody saw that, right? Eat it, and uh, we've got ants. And I want to pick up that candle, but I will come back for the candle. I'm going to move away, fighting the ant as I go. We got more. I uh, threw a dagger at him. I'm going to stand on the upstairs, put E, to see what we got here. We got some shopkeepers and a priest. One of these guys is a priest, and we got some guards and some monsters, but no more ants. Um, remove my blindfold. That's why telepathy is good. I'm going to finish eating this gnome corpse because it hadn't been more than 20 turns. Pick up the candle. Eat. And the first thing I want to do here after I kill the bugbear, is find the <laughs> temple. I hope it's an aligned temple. I mean, a co-aligned temple. There's a food shop. There's a temple. Um, I have two wands that I have not zapped. I'm tempted to zap these wands at those monsters to identify them. It's a little bit dangerous because I might polymorph them into something nasty. But you don't want to zap wands, unknown wands, in mine town because it might be a wand of digging and I might dig into a shop and then these guys be all mad at me. So I'm not going to do that. I'll just fight them as normal. I have a, I've entered the temple. I have a forbidding feeling. It's not a peaceful feeling. So it's a cross aligned altar. I can't convert this altar with that guy there. So I won't. I like to eat gnomish wizards because they're like newts. They might boost my power. He didn't. All right. <laughs> Do I have anything on curse that I want to identify? Yes, I found some magic boots, hiking boots. They're not cursed. Let's see what happens when I wear them. Take off my shoes, and I watch my AC go from zero to two. Wear my hiking boots. F. I 
finished my dressing maneuver and I didn't see anything happen. These could be water walking boots. They could be kicking boots. I'm going to try jumping. Alt J. Can't jump very far. They're not jumping boots. I'm going to take them off and wear my shoes again. Don't know what they are. I was hoping for speed boots. I'm going to close this door. And now there is a guard right there. But he can't see me because the door is closed. I'm going to kick the door. If I kicked it from this side, I'd anger the guard. But if I kick it from this side, the temple priest doesn't mind me kicking out his door. And nobody will care. All right. Uh, now the best thing to do is check out the shops. Okay, I'm gonna throw my. I'm gonna enter this shop, and I have a pickaxe. He's gonna say, "Leave your pickaxe outside." Here's what you do: I T for throw. So T asterisk because these are the weapons I can throw, but I can also choose question mark or asterisk. I'm gonna pick asterisk. What do I want to get? What do I want to throw? I want to throw my pickaxe. That's P. P. What direction? Straight down at the floor, greater than sign, not down south. You don't throw your pickaxe into the shop. He'll catch it. I've tried that. Um, but now without the pickaxe, I can walk into the shop. And when I leave, I have to step on that square with the pickaxe. And since I've thrown it and I have pick up thrown items automatically turned on, I will not forget and leave my pickaxe there. Here's a puce potion in a delicatessen. That's got to be juice, right? I'll name F for floor, name an item on the floor, F where dot, which is right here. I think this is juice. What else does a, what other kinds of potions would a delicatessen shop have? I think it's juice. Okay, we can open doors, but you don't want to let shopkeepers see you picking locks. Um, you, if you're Dexterous, I mean, you can open it with a key. You can unlock it with a key, but if it's locked, I wait till so I said shopkeeper guards. You don't want to let guards see you messing with locks. That can happen even with keys. The door is locked. Unlock it with your key. No, because there's a guard standing right there. Excuse me. Throw over that way. Oh, no. Okay, I blew it. I attacked a peaceful monster, and in NetHack 3.7, Peaceful monsters, if you attack them and a guard sees you, he becomes angry. I didn't check to verify that that monster was peaceful. So now I have at least one guard angry at me. I might be able to find a way to kill him, in which case it would kill, uh, that would be murder and I would um, lose luck and uh, lose alignment record, I think is what happens. You typically want to avoid murder. Um... If he had a whistle, he'd ring his, he'd blow his whistle, and all the guards would be bad at me. I think the thing to do now is just beat a hasty retreat, head back upstairs till I can find a scroll of taming, or I feel like I want to kill the guard, and um, so he's throwing stuff at me. Um, this is unfortunate because I don't get a chance to check in Itchak's lighting shop, and. So he's got a couple of lamps that could be magic lamps. That's the best thing about Mine Town, is the, uh, one of the shops might have a magic lamp. Either a lighting shop, which I think there always is one, but you might also have hardware stores. And um, um, I might just, I've got two unidentified wands. And I've got decent armor. I might be able to get away Oh, well, I'm done. I'm ready to finish the video now. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zap my unidentified wants to this guy. He might kill me. He might not. Zap. I've only got one angry guard, as far as I know. Um, one of these might be enough to, to do him in. Let's, or he might kill me, but this has been fun and I'm done. Let's just see what happens. N, what direction? That way. It's a magic missile. And he took me almost in half. Magic missiles are pretty good. Zap. Let's hit him again. N that way. And he killed me. So there goes my adventure with starting a tourist. I didn't ascend, but I wasn't going to record the whole thing to ascend anyway. But I've uh, shown you some of the things that I like to think about when I get a tourist. I think the only thing I didn't mention is uh, two weaponing. I should have trained up two weapon combat eventually so I could wield Magic Bane and a Silver Saber and. I would be able to ascend with this character. But 
I hope you I hope you've enjoyed this precise concise net hack video. Thank you for watching.